Hello and welcome to another session. Um, and this is just a recording uh, that I probably should have done before to always give context. We were looking at the Eagle Nebula and observing some wondrous uh, creations and uh, tapestry and artistic renditions of, of creatures uh, clearly there. But I just want to give context of what we're looking at, and that is the Eagle Nebula. And here it is, and let's just zoom on into it. This was the original uh, photo that was able to be downloaded um, in its original format, which was pretty cool uh, of them to allow us to do it. And when you look at the nebula, like, well, where's the head? Where's the head of it? Is it this thing here? And at first glance, that may seem be to be the case, but under careful inspection, you quickly see this is the head right here. This right here, see how it goes like that, around like that, and then comes to this point right there. Let's zoom in a bit more, and a bit more even. There we go. And so you can start to see why they call this the nebula, the Eagle Nebula. It kind of goes out this way and that way. And again, what do we see? <laughs> Another head figure. Eyes, one, in perfect alignment, two, over there, nose and mouth open, looking down at the pillars of life. So there's that kind of angel figure that we pointed out last time, and there's the pillars of life. And as you can see with this photo, they are overexposed, so you can't really zoom in any further there. Uh, but the context is that. That's what we're looking at. Um, there is the Eagle Nebula. I can see why the Webb telescope is pointed to there. I mean, look at all these other things they could be pointed at. Like, look at all these other different stars and galaxies and nebula and so on. Why are they so interested in this one for? I believe it's obvious because there are marvelous things in here to observe. Too profound to ignore, uh, even for the a secular, skeptical person uh, when you behold this. The Eagle Nebula, head, wings, and then, as I said, look, at it's so profound. We saw in the other shoot, this one's looking down here, and now we can see this larger head here looking down at the pillars of creation. And then, just to back up a bit, what are the pillars of creation? So they say... Um, to me, they are pillars of uh, figures. They are depictions of living figures. Uh, and um, one thing I'll also add to this is that some people uh, have said that these are scary images. Um, some people say they are spooky. Uh, I've heard the word haunting. Um, I've heard the word phenomenal. Um, and all I can say when I look at this, I trust in the Lord God. And so I'm not scared at this. Um, I look at this and it is more evidence, uh, as if I needed more, that God is real and he is absolute creator of heaven and earth and he has absolute artistic value. And I believe I consider myself privileged to live in a day and age where I can have the technology to look up into the heavens and behold uh, these kinds of awesome sights. So just... A brief little thing uh, about context. Um, there is the uh, pillars of creation, and then once again, pillars of creation right there. I would also add that it is in the center of this Eagle Nebula where we behold the pillars of creation and this uh, angel like figure over here. So it is truly amazing. I'm starting to take interest in this, I still haven't gotten over it. It is truly amazing. I am absolutely stunned by this absolute creation. And then uh, just noticing again this today, this head um, kind of looks like a um, kind of a pointed like face like figure with eyes again looking down here, right? Pointing here. It's like, hey, you guys in NASA, you astronomers, all right, look, look down here. Look down here. How much evidence do you need of God's glory and his creation? Zoom in right here, you guys. Okay. Right at the center, right at the heart of this Eagle Nebula. 
and behold the work of God. Um, as I said, I, while I am not scared by what I see here, it does not diminish my fear for God. The Bible says, fear the Lord, uh, that is the beginning of wisdom. We are commanded to fear the Lord, uh, not man, uh, for the Lord has control not only what happens to us in this life, but also um, after death when we are resurrected into judgment what happens to us. And so he says, the Lord Jesus in all of his love, fear God, not man. And let me just say a word to unbelievers or people who have not been redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb of God. You should fear this. If you look at God's creation, um, you have everything in the world to be scared about uh, because you are lost without Christ and without hope. These images should cause you to fear. You should look at that and say, this is scary. As the Bible says, it is a terrifying, terrifying thing to come into the presence of an almighty God. It is a terrifying thing. So the Bible says in Romans 5, 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. You want peace with the God of this universe. Trust me. By faith, through the substitutionary atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ who died for your sins. Okay? We have faith in him. We believe in him. And in this, you don't have to fear any evil. You can look at pictures like this and fear no evil. Okay? Because God is with you, as the psalmist said in the 23rd Psalms. His rod and his staff, his authority, they comfort me. And so, just leave you with that. And there it is, right there. The original format, they let me upload that from the website uh, for free, which is the original uh, footage of the uh, Eagle Nebula. And sharing this around to somebody just in, <laughs> just one more thing if I could. Um, they said, oh, Dave, well, there's other stuff too, Dave. Why don't you check out this one here? And I'm like, what's that? And they said, that is called the hand of God. And uh, you can see the hand-like structure going over here. So I hope James Webb's telescope can point over to this one. And let's take a, a zoom right into there and see what we can find. But again, I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe that's coming down the road. But definitely, um, let's zoom into there. I cannot find any of the new uh, telescopic imagery of that. If anybody has some, please, by all means, share it in the link below. But they call that the hand of God nebula and say it's actually touching or doing something to that red anomaly right there as well. Anyways, God bless all of us as we consider the glory in the heavens of God in Jesus.